Voyager 2 was the one that was chosen to do the grand tour, that is to fly by Jupiter, and then Saturn, and then Uranus, and then Neptune. Well, this is just contributes to the number of discoveries that Voyager has been making. Jupiter's tumultuous atmosphere, the ever-changing rings of Saturn, the tilted axis of Uranus, and the enigmatic great dark spot of Neptune. Four and a half decades ago, humanity possessed only a vague comprehension at best of these far-flung worlds within our solar system. And then came the Voyager probe's remarkable tour of the solar system. Launched in 1977, the two Voyager spacecraft have since embarked on a journey spanning billions of miles across our galaxy and beyond, granting us unprecedented insights into distant planets, regions and other marvels of the universe. During their journey, the Voyagers made some extraordinary discoveries that challenged our understanding of the cosmos and revolutionised our perception of our place within it. So, in today's video, we delve into the most astounding discoveries made during Voyager's mission. Number 1. Liquid water 900 million miles from the Sun As captivating as Saturn's hazy orange moon Titan may be, it was actually one of the smaller satellites, Enceladus, that fascinated scientists. Prior to the Voyager mission, they only knew that Enceladus resided in Saturn's outermost E-ring and was relatively small. Little was known about this moon beyond that. Voyager's exploration brought about significant discoveries about Enceladus. It precisely measured the Moon's size, determining that it had a diameter of 310 miles and a mean radius of 157 miles, making it small enough to fit within the Gulf of Mexico. However, Voyager's findings went far beyond mere size, initiating a series of extraordinary revelations about this Moon that continue to this day. When Voyager approached this luminous little world, it revealed something unexpected. All ancient craters on Enceladus had been wiped away. This finding was surprising, because a moon that is inactive or lifeless typically retains a crater-covered surface. Moons like Jupiter's Callisto are adorned with craters. However, if there is sufficient tectonic activity or the emergence of molten material through fractures, some moons can exhibit tectonic features or have their craters removed. Contrary to expectations, Enceladus appeared entirely smoothed over. It was discovered that cryovolcanism, the eruption of icy materials, had likely erased the craters. As one scientist explains, there had been an assumption of slushy ice that was warm enough to flow through fragments and extensively cover the surface. Such slushy water ice is a rarity in space. Voyager provided the first indications that Enceladus, similar to Jupiter's moon Europa, could potentially harbour liquid water beneath its surface. It was not until the Cassini mission, decades later, that scientists confirmed the presence of a vast subsurface ocean enveloping this small world. Number 2. Revelations about the moons of the Red Planet The exploration of the Martian system by the Voyager spacecraft yielded a wealth of surprising discoveries concerning the two diminutive moons orbiting the Red Planet, Phobos and Deimos. Often overshadowed by Mars itself, these moons unveiled intriguing characteristics that sparked inquiries into their origins and evolution. One notable revelation was their irregular and non-spherical shapes. Voyager's images exposed their lumpy potato-like appearances, implying that they are not solid bodies, but rather loose aggregates of rocks and debris held together by gravitational forces. Scientists thus proposed that Phobos and Deimos might be captured asteroids or remnants of a larger celestial body disrupted by a catastrophic impact with Mars. Another captivating aspect of these moons was their extensively cratered surfaces. Voyager's close-up images showcased numerous impact craters, signifying a history of intense bombardment by meteoroids and space debris. The presence of such craters raised questions about the age of Phobos and Deimos and provided valuable insights into the dynamics of the early solar system. Voyager's measurements also unveiled the low density of these moons, indicating that they are primarily composed of rock and ice. This composition further supported the hypothesis of their origin as captured asteroids or remnants of a larger body. However, the precise composition and internal structure of Phobos and Deimos remain ongoing subjects of scientific investigation. Moreover, the existence of grooves and striations on the surface of both moons left scientists puzzled. These linear features, referred to as groove systems, 
hinted at past geological activity. The exact origins of these grooves remains uncertain, with theories encompassing tidal forces exerted by Mars, fracturing caused by impacts, or internal processes. Unraveling the mechanisms behind the formation of these intriguing features poses a challenge for future research. Number 3. The Enigmatic Magnetic Fields Around Jupiter The encounter of the Voyager probe with Jupiter provided a wealth of knowledge about the gas giant's magnetic fields, leaving scientists astounded and reshaping our understanding of this massive planet. The gathered data revealed that Jupiter possesses one of the most intricate and potent magnetic fields within our solar system. These magnetic fields generate dazzling auroras and play a pivotal role in shaping Jupiter's magnetosphere. Voyager's measurements uncovered unexpected irregularities in the magnetic field, characterized by distinct regions of varying strength and complexity. These discoveries challenged the established models of planetary magnetic fields and paved the way for further exploration. Scientists are diligently examining the Voyager data, hoping to unlock the mysteries surrounding Jupiter's enigmatic magnetic fields and their impact on the planet's dynamic atmosphere. Number 4. Surprising Findings in Uranus's Atmosphere the Voyager probe's encounter with Uranus uncovered numerous unforeseen revelations regarding the planet's atmosphere. One of the most astonishing findings was the unusual orientation of Uranus's rotational axis. Unlike the majority of planets in our solar system, Uranus spins tilted on its side, with its axis inclined at an almost 90 degree angle relative to its orbital plane. The observations made by Voyager verified this remarkable tilt and provided valuable insights into how it affects the dynamics of Uranus's atmosphere. Using its instruments, the spacecraft captured detailed images and collected measurements of Uranus's atmosphere, revealing a complex and dynamic system. Scientists were taken aback to observe that the upper atmosphere of Uranus exhibited a remarkably uniform and featureless appearance. This starkly contrasted with the turbulent cloud patterns observed on gas giants such as Jupiter and Saturn. The absence of prominent atmospheric features raised intriguing questions about the underlying mechanisms responsible for the subdued atmospheric activity. Voyager's data also unveiled the presence of distinct layers of clouds within Uranus's atmosphere. These layers, composed of a mixture of methane, ammonia and other hydrocarbons, displayed different colours and compositions. The highest visible cloud layer appeared blue, while deeper layers exhibited shades of green and yellow. The precise mechanisms driving the formation and dynamics of these clouds continue to be a subject of ongoing investigation. Another surprising revelation was the existence of robust and persistent winds in Uranus's atmosphere. Based on Voyager's measurements, wind speeds of up to 900 km per hour were recorded near the planet's equator. These powerful winds contribute to the unique atmospheric circulation patterns of the planet and potentially influence its weather systems. Number 5. Interstellar Space's Remarkable Diversity as the Voyager 1 probe embarked on its extraordinary journey into the realms beyond our solar system, it unveiled a plethora of astonishing revelations concerning the intricacy and variety of interstellar space. The wealth of data gathered by Voyager shattered our preconceived notions and deepened our comprehension of the immense void that stretches between the stars. One of the remarkable breakthroughs was the detection of interstellar dust grains. The spacecraft's instruments captured a continuous stream of minuscule particles originating from regions beyond our solar system. These dust grains, composed of diverse elements and compounds, offered valuable insights into the composition of interstellar space. Scientists made the captivating discovery of a wide range of chemical species encompassing silicates, carbon compounds and even complex organic molecules. This revelation hinted at the potential existence of building blocks for life within the vast cosmic expanse. Number 6. Unraveling the Mystery of Dark Matter The journey of the Voyager probes across the cosmos not only enriched our knowledge of celestial entities, but also made significant contributions to our comprehension of the perplexing phenomena called dark matter. While not its primary focus, the observations and measurements made by the Voyagers provided valuable hints and deepened the ongoing pursuit to unravel the mysteries surrounding dark matter. 
Dark matter, true to its name, is a mysterious form of matter that lacks the ability to emit, absorb or reflect light, rendering it invisible to conventional telescopes. Its existence is inferred through its gravitational influence on visible matter and the movements of galaxies and galaxy clusters. The observations made by Voyager have played a vital role in advancing our understanding of this elusive cosmic component. Number 7. A Magnetic Mystery The transition of the probes into interstellar space was relatively straightforward. But the heliopause, which acts as a twilight zone between the heliosphere and interstellar space, displayed unexpected characteristics. It took several months for each spacecraft to cross this region, during which they transmitted data on variations in plasma density. According to Merov Ofa, an astronomer at Boston University, the heliopause was anticipated to be a simple boundary, but it turned out to be thicker and more intricate than previously thought. However, it also served as a communication channel. The groundbreaking revelation that particles move in and out of the heliosphere originated from the magnetic field data obtained by Voyager 1 in 2012 and later by Voyager 2 six years later. The data gathered by Voyager 1 and 2 on magnetic fields at the heliopause perplexed scientists. The expectation was that there would be a change in the magnetic field direction when the solar magnetic field met the galactic magnetic field. However, neither Voyager 1 nor Voyager 2 detected any alterations in the direction of the magnetic field. As Ofer explained, when Voyager crossed there was no change in angle. The magnetic field remained almost like that of the Sun, without any rotation. Although it remains a puzzle, Ofa and her colleagues have developed a theory involving magnetic field flux tubes in the heliopause that connect the solar magnetic field with the interstellar field. She suggests that there might be pathways, or highways, through which particles can enter or exit the heliosphere, likely occurring through magnetic field reconnection. The heliopause appears to be the warped surface of the heliosphere that responds to solar activity, but why remains an open question. Number 8. Revealing the nature of cosmic rays The Voyager mission yielded valuable information that enhanced our comprehension of cosmic rays, which are energetic particles originating from various cosmic origins. By examining these high-energy particles, Voyager's observations provided valuable insights into the characteristics, origins and impacts of cosmic rays within our universe. A notable achievement was Voyager's measurement of cosmic ray composition. Using its instruments, the spacecraft detected a diverse array of particles including protons, electrons and atomic nuclei. These measurements unveiled that the majority of cosmic rays are comprised of hydrogen nuclei, protons, and helium nuclei, alpha particles, with small amounts of heavier elements. This composition offered important hints about the potential sources and acceleration mechanisms of cosmic rays. Now we would love to hear from you in the comments section about which of these discoveries captivated you the most.